It's that time of the year when we acknowledge the latest achievements of automakers within the electric car segment and provide our viewers with thorough buying guides to make informative decisions. The most indicative benchmark of EV's progress is the availability of models with adequate range that remain affordable. So, today we present to you the most detailed top 10 list on YouTube featuring the cheapest electric cars on sale in 2021. Bear in mind that we have randomized the entries, so watch till the end not to miss any worthy models. Subscribe to Automotive Territory and enjoy the ride! Candy K27 and K23 Positioned to become the cheapest electric cars that you can get in America, the K27 and K23 are tiny for suitors that are produced by the Chinese manufacturer Candy Technologies Group. Looking like a mix of a Mini Cooper, Smart and IKEA Soul, the K27 is a smaller and less powerful of the pair. It is propelled by a 61 horsepower electric motor and a 17.7 kWh lithium battery pack. The car has the maximum range of 59 miles and the speed of 68 mph, so it can hardly be called highway worthy. The Candy K23, on the other hand, gets a stronger drivetrain setup and an entirely different exterior design. Its 67 HP front axle motor produces 72 mph speeds, while the 41.4 kWh ternary lithium battery promises 111 miles of driving. Both models get large touch infotainments, ABS, and dual front airbags. Dacia Spring The Romanian Dacia and its parent company Renault have a history of democratizing the European car market. First they released the Logan, then came the fan favorite Duster, and now the time has come for the Dacia's first all-electric vehicle. Labeled the Spring, the new crossover shares its underpinnings with the Chinese Renault KCE, but boasts reinforced chassis, bolder exterior design, plus plenty of safety features. The propulsion system is rather lethargic, comprised of a 45 HP motor and a 26.8 kWh battery pack that, at 30 kW, can be fully recharged in under one hour. The setup produces 78 mph maximum speeds and offers 140 miles of WLTP range. The car is launched in three versions – for customer purchase, car sharing and urban deliveries. The former promises decent 300 liters of boot space and gets a touch infotainment, smartphone integration, and a digital dashes options. Mini Electric Rocking a classic Mini look, this all-electric version of the two-door took BMW more than a decade to develop and launch to the market. Named the Mini SE or Mini Electric, the hatchback sports a new fascia, a rear bumper with no exhaust, and either 16 or 17 inch alloy wheels. The model adopts the drivetrain from the BMW i3, featuring a 181 horsepower electric motor and a 32.6 kWh battery. The latter promises just 110 EPA miles. The car accommodates for people, while its cargo capacity varies from 8.7 to 34 cubic feet when the rear seats are faulted. The model is offered in three trim levels and it is richly equipped even in the base one. You're looking at LED lighting, heated seats, keyless entry, Apple CarPlay, and active driving assistant. Opel Corsa E and Peugeot E208 In the new entry-level electrics from Opel and Peugeot, arrive sharing the same underpinnings, and as a result, drivetrain setups. The cars are propelled by the combination of a 136 HP electric motor and a 50 kWh battery, with estimated WLTP range of 209 miles for the Corsa and 211 for the E208. The German sticks to the reserved and traditional styling, while the French looks more emotional, sporting expressive yellow paint and the brand's characteristic saber-tooth front fascia. The standard equipment includes automatic headlights with LED DRLs while higher trims get full LEDs with optional IntelliLux tech. Both models get three driving modes, cruise control and rear parking sensors. 
On the inside, the all-electric hatches pack more equipment than their IC counterparts in the same trims. There is automatic climate control, a joystick instead of a traditional gear knob lever, a digital driver's info screen, and a standard 7-inch infotainment. Make sure to smash the like button if you want the electric progress to never stall. Thanks for your feedback, and let's get back to it. Nissan LEAF The second generation of Nissan's technological flagship has been on the market since 2017, but it still keeps up with the younger competitors on all fronts. The 40 kWh battery and the 147 horsepower motor remain standard for the entry trim. This will give you 150 miles of driving with convenient one-pedal operation and a 7.4 seconds 0 to 60 time. Among the latest updates for the CV, we should highlight the now standard Safety Shield 360 suite with automated emergency braking with pedestrian detection. There is an 8-inch infotainment with Apple and Android integration and a new low-speed motor sound. In 2020, the Japanese also made a bold move of slashing the prices for the Leaf in Europe by around 4,000 euros, and this aligned them with the US. Renault Twingo Electric In early 2020, quite unexpectedly, Renault revealed its second all-electric passenger automobile based on the already existing Twingo City car. The model sits on the same platform as the Smart EQ, which means that the CE also gets a rear-mounted electric motor with a single-speed gearbox delivering 82 horsepower and 118 pound-feet of torque. However, Renault installed a bigger 22 kWh battery, which translates to the approximate WLTP range of 118 miles. The company also says that there is a special eco mode that allows to extend driving to 140 miles. Unlike the Zoe, the Twingo features liquid cooling for the pack, which ensures better battery protection and its improved performance at peak power demand. The car gets three trim levels, plus the Vibes Limited Edition, features three regenerative braking levels, and offers an optional 22 kW charging capability. Hyundai Ionic Even though Hyundai is rethinking its electric car's approach by introducing an entire new family of Ionic EVs, the original compliance Ionic Electric is still on sale. The 2020 mid-cycle facelift introduced refreshed front and rear bumpers, a redesigned grille, and new 16-inch alloys. Instead of the old 28 kWh battery, it features a 38 kWh pack, which should offer around 170 miles of EPA range. The standard 6.6 kW onboard charger was replaced with a 7.2 kW one, ensuring the 80% charge time for the new battery of 6 hours. The motor makes 136 horses and a hefty amount of torque, 218 pound-feet to be exact. On the inside, the styling revisions are rather subtle, unless you go for the optional 10.25-inch touchscreen with audio-video navigation. By the way, the sales in the US have expanded beyond California and now include 10 more states. MG5 EV Once an iconic British sports car manufacturer, MG is clawing its way back up to the European market with the help of the money and production facilities of its parent company, the Chinese SAIC Motor Corp. The brand's newest contender is the MG5 EV estate car based on the ROV EI5. The car offers quite decent WLTP range of 214 miles, courtesy of a standard 52.5 kWh battery pack. The latter supports a 50 kW rapid charging and will recover from 0 to 80% in approximately 50 minutes. The electric motor with 156 HP and 192 pound-feet of torque can propel the MG5 EV from 0 to 60 in 7.7 seconds. With the rear seats folded, this family car boasts 1,456 liters of boot space. It also offers plenty of standard goodies, including an 8-inch infotainment with full smartphone connectivity, 7-inch driver's info display, 3 driving modes, cruise control, and automatic headlights with LED DRLs. 
Smart EQ 42 and 44. Starting from the 2020 model here, the entire roster of Smarts goes through a minor exterior facelift and offers an all electric drivetrain as the only propulsion option. The lineup includes three models EQ 42 and its Caprio version, plus a larger EQ 44. Both of the two and four seat models feature revised head and tail lights, which are full LED in the higher trims. And there is a revamped honeycomb radiator grill with updated air intakes. The city cars are powered by a single electric motor that nets 80 horsepower and 118 pound feet of torque. It is fed by a 17.6 kWh battery that is good for up to 99 and 95 miles of range, respectively. With the optional 22 kW onboard charger, the Smart needs 40 minutes to recharge from 10 to 80 percent. The standard equipment includes 15 inch alloy wheels and a new 7 inch infotainment with Bluetooth, Android Auto, and Mirror Link. Renault Zoe This quirky looking EV is a true veteran within the class but it is still recognized as one of the best affordable buys, especially if you choose to lease the battery and save up to 8,000 euros. The starter pack for the Zoe is represented in the form of the Life R110 CE40 trim. This name incorporates the technical specs of the model. A 110 horsepower motor and a 41 kilowatt hour battery, good for 190 WLTP miles. The standard equipment package incorporates air conditioning, Cruise Pilot with Speed Limiter, ESP with Traction Control, EasyLink 7-inch Multimedia, and a digital dashboard. If your pockets are a couple of thousand euros deeper, the Zoe is also sold with a stronger 135 horsepower motor and a larger 55 kWh battery with CCS charging capability. These specs would give you 245 WLTP miles and 8.5 seconds 0 to 60. VEG Electric City Cars In 2020, the second generation of the electric super mini VW e-up arrived alongside two more market entries by the Volkswagen Automotive Group. The trio by the German VW, Czech Skoda and Spanish Seat follows the already proven formula of appealing to different and all buyers at once. These are optimized for efficiency, so the shared 83 horsepower motor does not provide the usual ride briskness. With 156 pound feet of torque, 0 to 60 dynamics are 12 seconds. The battery has 36.8 kWh capacity. Out of those, 32.3 kWh are usable for around 164 miles in the WLTP cycle and can be recharged at 7 and 40 kW. The trimming of the EAP, CityGo, EIV, and Mi models is determined by the exacts at each company independently, but in general, a bare minimum is expected, like air conditioning and a docking station that turns your smartphone into the infotainment display. Fiat 500 Electric The compliance version of the 500 Electric had very mediocre sales numbers, and according to the late Fiat Chrysler CEO Sergio Marchione, was losing the conglomerate $20,000 per unit. The situation is expected to be reversed with the arrival of the all-new 500 EV built over a bespoke all-electric platform. The major emphasis is made on the Italian retro flair of the model, with interesting design easter eggs, gorgeous front fascia, compact two-door body style, and distinctive Fiat seats. The tiny hatchback is offered in four trims – Action, Passion, Icon, and La Prima. The basic package translates to a 95 HP motor and a 23.8 kWh battery with 110 miles of range, rechargeable at 50 kW. The entry-level model gets standard 7-inch digital dash and active safety features, but will have you use your phone as an infotainment cluster. Do not forget that nearly all the presented models still qualify for plug-in incentives, so you can expect the presented prices to be lower by another $7,000 or euros. Plus, I have to acknowledge the emission of some cheaper Chinese and Indian models, but those are not available on the international markets and had to be left out. As always, subscribe to Automotive Territory, like, share, 
and may the torque be with you.